Detective Roland Decker, and you are Dr. Harper Reed. High profile, huh? I'm not saying anything that's like him all the way here. What is it they call you? The, uh, the TikTok doc? My son follows you. He loves it. What's your point? We're just making small talk. I really don't want to make small talk at 2 in the morning. Quite frankly, I really don't want to talk into my lawyer, Robbins. Ethan Manfield. That's my lawyer. Ethan Manfield. Okay. Lorena Garcia, I need to see her now. We will get Right it. now, Detective Decker. <laughs> you are feisty. Relax. You'll be here a while. Oh, Dr. Harper Reed. birthday. Really, Trent? I mean, I'd rather be nibbling on something else, but I guess that'll do for now. So this is a surprise? Yeah. When'd you get in? We got back a little late. You know, the bus broke down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I mean, I came here as soon as I got done, though. With these nasty clothes still on. 
Well, these nasty clothes actually got me a triple double and a W. Stop playing with me, man. <laughs> Well, I was about to get in the shower, so, um... All right, well, obviously, you see, I need one, too, right? Mm-hmm. You do. <laughs> man, that's what. You gonna invite me in or what, man? There she is! Look what I brought you, Mama Sita! Come sit down. Peppermint mocha, two sugars, three cream, oh, and one espresso. Just like you like mm. it. What's up, my girl? Favorite, my favorite. Oh, Thanks, MG. Mm. Ooh, and I heard your audio message too. You are ridiculous. <laughs> well, was I lying? It's my birthday, and I'm not passing up no birthday day. <laughs> you fucking puta. <laughs> when do you ever let go? When do you ever pass? Never. Okay, well, was it good? Listen. We did it all over the house. He even got me two times in the shower. <gasps> Super clean over here. <gasps> <laughs> you play. All day, I cannot. Mm -mm. Mm. Shout out to him. Did any of your other pieces of candy at you? Yeah. Um, everyone except Sour Patch. <sighs> Julian, come on. We should have been expecting this. When are you gonna let go of this expired candy? So, look, I don't have time for his shit no more. Mm -hmm. And I'm 30 now, so it's time to let him go mm -hmm. and just move on. Okay. Okay. Good morning, ladies. Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning. Yeah, happy birthday, it's Ronnie Brooks. Well, thank you, you look sir. beautiful as always. <laughs> well, thank you, sir. Sir. I feel closer and closer to the grave every time you call me, sir. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, Ivan. <laughs> Good, there you go. All right, listen, the reason that I called all of us here and met with the three of you personally is because we have a high profile client. His name is Dr. Harper Reed. He's a famous OBGYN doctor. He got his medical degree at the age of 24. At the age of 28, he became a social media icon and voted sexiest doctor alive and he released a best-selling autobiography called Read Between the Lines. Mm, how befitting. <laughs> yeah, okay, now enough of the biography. Here's where we come in. A wrongful death lawsuit has been filed against Dr. Reed by his fiance, Charlene Clayton's family. Charlene committed suicide about six weeks ago and the family is claiming that it's due to the emotional distress brought on by Dr. Reed. How much is the lawsuit? $1.2 million. So Dr. Reed will be here after lunch. So we'll be back by one o'clock. Ethan, you're gonna be able to research the family and you also need to research everything about Dr. Reed. We don't wanna be surprised with anything that the family throws out to us. Lorena, you'll assist Ronnie on developing the defensive strategy. And Ronnie, you're gonna be the head counselor. So of course I'm gonna need an update from you daily. Absolutely. All right. Meeting adjourned. Glad you like them. They're beautiful. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, I got another gift for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Choose. Mm, this one. Okay. <laughs> I'm really Ivan. Yeah, because you always call me Spree, and you've yet to tell me why. <laughs> and I never will. Okay. Mm but thank you. Mm. Mm. Well, you know you got another gift. Ooh, I see. Oh. Mm. Damn, Ivan. $30,000? A thousand for every year of life you've had on this earth. This is definitely the most you've given me so far, but uh, I can't take it. Keep this. This is twice my annual bonus. Well, just think of it as two years bonus. <laughs> Listen, I don't care what you do with it. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. You can buy a car. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. like that. You can buy a business. Mm -hmm. Like the sound of that. Mm, hell, you can save it. Doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. You deserve it. I do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. My pleasure. Mm -hmm. Excuse <clears throat> the interruption. That's the man feel. Can I have a word with you? the seventh time you passed me up as head counselor and the third time you've appointed Ronnie. You're not ready. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Listen, son, this is a high profile case. And right now, Ronnie is the best lawyer to handle it. What is it about Ronnie? Huh? I mean, the ass that good dad? Don't you ever talk about her like that again. Do you hear me? Yes. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. You do know that this law firm is yours when I die, right? However, I have to make sure that you're ready, Ethan. You're my legacy, and this law firm is my legacy, and it's your mother's too. Your time will come, son. But until then, I need you to be a sponge. I need you to soak up everything that you can so that when it's time for me to pass this torch to you, you will be ready to handle it. You understand? Yes, sir. Good. I love you, son. Love you too, Dad. All right, now get yourself together because Dr. Reed will be here in a half an hour, okay? Yes, sir. All right. Hey, Dad, you are. Have some lipstick on your cheek. Thought you might not want to meet Dr. Reed with it on you. Thanks. Yeah. Damn. I needed that. <laughs> Ain't nothing like some afternoon delight, huh? Hell yeah. So what you got planned for the rest of the day? Got a meeting in like 10 minutes. What about you? I just gotta finish up some paperwork for Harper. And speaking of, I heard y'all representing him. Yep, I'm the head counselor on this one. Oh, oh wow. Congratulations, boo. <laughs> yeah, Harper's a sweetheart. It's just a shame that he's getting blamed for his ex fiance suicide, though. Yeah. Tragedy. Well, let me know if you need help with anything. <laughs> I'll be more than happy to help Harper out in any way I can. Mm. Well, thank you, boo. I'm after that. There she is. I apologize Hello. for my tardiness. It's all right. You're right on time. Mm -hmm. Harper, this is the one. How you doing, Attorney Brooks? <laughs> heard a lot of good things about you. You can call me Ronnie and I've heard the same about you. Uh, you just call me Harper. Okay, Harper, well, nice to meet you. Likewise. <laughs> and I believe I owe you a happy birthday. I hope I'm not the reason that you're in the office on your special day. <laughs> oh, she practically lives here. <laughs> All she's missing is a bed. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. The hospital is my second home. And ever since COVID, I've delivered three times the amount of babies. So. I mean, with everything being on lockdown, people had a lot more time on their hands, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But thank you for the birthday wishes. And, um... We're all sorry for your loss. We can only imagine the amount of grief that you're experiencing. Yeah, it doesn't help when you're being sued in the process. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, at least my beautiful, brilliant lawyer can help me lay my fiance to rest once and for all. His words. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, you're in good hands and we look forward to working with you. Likewise. And if there's anything you need, let me know. I'm yours as long as you need. Sounds good. How are you Splendid. So, <clears throat> how do you feel about seafood? I know this.
What you working on? Researching Dr. Reed. Mm. Doing my part as a team player. Okay. Well, look, Ethan. You are an essential part of this case, believe it or not. Yay. Look, I know you don't like me. Objection. I loathe you. You know, ever since you came here 18 months ago, you've done nothing but steal my father's attention, oh. both professionally and personally. So no, don't come in here trying to invite me into your little sandbox when there's only room for my father. Okay, uh, sustain. Yeah. But look, Ethan, if you want to get your father's attention, don't get mad. Nah, see, you need to prove him wrong. Give him no choice but to notice you. <laughs> Good night, Ethan. It's yeah. three o'clock in the morning. Wait, you want some? No, I don't want none. You're drunk and driving. You trying to sleep in the jail bed tonight? No, I'm trying to sleep in your bed. No, you're not. You can't keep doing this, showing up at my house unannounced. You don't have those privileges anymore. Hey. What? I just came by to say happy birthday, dirty, dirty. Welcome to the club. <laughs> three hours late? Really? You know what? I look. Hey, look. I'm not doing this with you. You need to go home, Julian. I have something kind of like a restaurant. I bet. Give me your keys. Give me your keys. Hey, hey. Go in the house, lay down. Hey, hey. You're embarrassing me and shit. When you gonna stop being fun, Dip, huh? Miss Irene? Yes, girl. Who else? <laughs> I answer the question. I don't know what you mean. You know, fun dip. <laughs> the candy. The candy that got the stick that you dip into the sugar. Come on, before you eat it. Girl, you are the stick. The way you just be dipping with everybody that running in and out of your house. Day in and day out. Mm. Now what you gonna do when that sugar runs out, huh? Buy you another packet and eat it? Maybe. But take it from me. With experience. That all sugar ain't sweet. Sometimes, it's deadly. Oh, Mama. Did you know, Mr. Don't say this one. It's Okay. As I was... As I was asking, how well did you know the victim? It's complicated. Okay, could you... Uncomplicated for me. We were close. Okay. We spent a lot of time together, and um... Friends, lovers... You know what I'm saying to Miss Garcia. Attorney Garcia. Attorney Brooks, could you inform Attorney Garcia, Detective Decker, 
needs to establish your relationship with the victim. Detective Decker, can you give me a second with my client? This guy is ridiculous. Sure. Please, take a moment. Thank you. In five minutes, attorney. Ronnie. Ronnie. You're covered in blood. Ronnie, say something. I hate you. So, how was your birthday? It was okay. Just okay? I did what I always do for my birthday. And what's that? Went to work, had sex, a lot of sex. Nothing's really changed. Well, nothing except me sitting across from you or a pill bottle on my bathroom counter. I don't even take medicine when I'm sick. When I'm cramping, nothing. And now this? Bipolar disorder is an emotional imbalance, which you already know. All the medication does is help to balance out your emotions. Does it work all of the time? No. However, most of the time it does, which is better than none. And it helps you to have more control of your mood. You're able to win the day. Instead of succumbing to living your life as a coin toss between mania and depression every day. Have you told anyone about your diagnosis? No. You should. You can't do this alone, Ronnie. I know. I know. If I take the medicine and tell people about it, then it becomes real. And I'm not ready for this to be a part of my life, a problem that I can't fix. Dr. Stewart, I'm a lawyer. I fix problems for a living. When there's a problem, I find a solution. That's understandable. But life is not a problem to be solved. It's a reality to be experienced. Mama Sita, your favorite day, Jose. What's up? Hey. What's wrong? Nothing. Um, I just got out of my mind. Okay. Morning, ladies. Dr. Reed will be up in a few minutes. Is everything okay, Ethan? Yeah. Just didn't get enough sleep last night. Are you working on a case? Yeah, something like that. Anyway, I'll see you in the conference room. Okay. To you, young lady. Wanna talk later? We'll see. Oh. Brighten up, baby girl. Come on. Christina, what happened on the night of Charlene Clayton's suicide? I came home from soccer practice just like any other Thursday evening. The only difference was I left my kid at home by accident. Was your father home? No, he was at work. 
So who usually picks you up from soccer practice? Charlene picks me up, except she didn't that day. I called several times, but no answer. And what about your dad? Well, I knew he was working at the warehouse and he wouldn't leave until, unless it was an emergency. So I just took the bus, no big deal. I've done it before. And I knew Charlene was home because her car was in the driveway. And like I said, I left my key. So I knocked at the door, no answer. I knocked again, no answer. And after that, I went around back and dug up the spare key out of the grass. And I walked into the house. I walked in the kitchen. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> she was lying there. Both wrists open with blood splattered out all over the floor. All I could do was scream at the top of my lungs. And I, I called my dad, I, I called the police, and I called Harper. I'm so sorry you had to see it like that, Christina. You should be sorry. You killed her, you son of a bitch! What? I didn't make her slit her wrist. You knew she was depressed. The depression came from her mother's death. Dr. Reed had nothing to do with that. Well, there were several police reports of verbal abuse filed by the neighbors saying that they heard them arguing aggressively multiple times. Oh, hearsay. Charlene never reported verbal abuse herself to the police. No. It was his affair that took her over the edge. Affair? Dr. Harper here had a friend, a nurse by the name of Alexandria Thomas, who worked very close with him. <sighs> what? Oh. So you didn't even tell your people that you were stepping out, Harper. All right, um, I think that's enough for today. Yeah, I completely agree with you. Completely agree with you. You had me look like a fool in front of everybody. It was an honest mistake, okay? An honest mistake, you almost jeopardized the whole case. And this is why you're not head counsel. How can somebody depend on you to be head counsel when you can't even get important information? Okay, Ronnie. Ronnie. What? I want him off the case. What? Yeah, I don't trust you anymore. Ivan, I want him you know, gone now. I don't now. have time for this bullshit. Excuse? Today. Hey, you know what? I'll leave the case my damn self. Hey, just just calm down a minute. Ronnie, Lorena, just just give us a moment, okay? Come on. Son, have a seat. Every smoker has a story, but before you tell him it'll kill him, just know he's already killed on the inside. Can read my book? Yeah, <laughs> got it on my iPad. It was cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <sighs> and why are you still here? I don't know. I don't have anywhere to go, I guess. I mean, I could go home, but I don't feel like drowning in my sorrows there. Well, I apologize about earlier. It was a lack of communication and it won't happen again. Nah, I'm sorry. I knew they were gonna spend it the way they were anyways. Even if you knew about it, it wasn't like we were able to come back from it. What do you mean? I didn't cheat on Charlie. At least, physically, I did. Mm -hmm. Alexandra and I were close, but we never crossed that line. Being popular all over social media is cool or whatnot, but I didn't have anybody to talk to except her. Mm -hmm. Anything that was going on in my life, including Charlene, I know I can go to her event. One night, Charlene and I got into a heated argument. She stormed out crying, so I called up Alex. We talked so long that we ended up falling asleep on the couch together. <laughs> Charlene came in and saw us sleeping together before I can even explain myself. She threw the ring at me and left. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. 
Wow. Uh, <laughs> wow is an understatement. Damn is better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to keep it professional. But everything's gonna be okay though. Ivan was right about you. What? You are a beautiful, brilliant lawyer. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for listening to me. My pleasure. You look like you got a lot on your mind. <laughs> I do. But make sure you talk to someone about it, alright? I mean, it doesn't have to be me, but it's always good to have someone to talk to. You don't have to carry that burden all by yourself. Will do. And thank you for the advice. No problem. I think it's safe <laughs> for me to go home now. Yeah. I'm gonna go home and smoke a couple of these menthols and get out of some comfortable suits. <laughs> this is why I love scrubs. Boy, you wear a suit well. It suits you. Thank you. I'm gonna leave the business professional attire to you, though. Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good night, Ronnie. You too, Harper. Thank you. Likewise. This is some bullshit. Harper, I need you to calm down. Hey look man, don't tell me to calm down, all right? Hey look, the best thing you can do is calm down and let me do all of the talking. Look man, they got me in an interrogation room for a crime I didn't commit. Put yourself in my shoes. So you will let me do all of the talking alone. Good news and some better news. Seems the ME found a second puncture in addition to the one to the heart. This one in the popliteal artery. Just right there behind the knee. Am I pronouncing that correctly? Wait. Oh, it's a very specific part of the human anatomy, Doc. What are you saying? Only a trained medical professional would know to puncture the popliteal artery in order to cause someone to bleed out, you know, faster than just stabbing them in the heart. Plus, was it insane? The incision was made in a clean and precise manner. Huh. Aren't you a doctor, Dr. Reed? Hey, hey! I see a man can't have a medical degree without being profiled too, huh? Would you say that shit if I was white? Huh? Huh? Let's calm it down, Dr. Reed. You are alive and in living color. <laughs> I didn't touch him, you know it. Hey, look, give me a moment with my client. No? Sure. Okay. <sighs> okay, look, I'm gonna need you to calm down. Listen to what I'm telling you. Calm down. He's just trying to get into your head and it looked like this is working. You really gonna sit up here and believe what he's saying? I'm not saying I believe him, Harper. Come on, man, look! Anybody could have Googled how to cut somebody and make them bleed out faster. Look, man, do you really think he'd be saying that shit if I was white? Harper, 
I'm serious, man. Look, man, it's a circus out here. And we're the clowns. I don't take lives, Ethan. I bring them in. Thousands of them. So who's side do you want? Yours. To act like it. Act like it, Ethan. about your diagnosis? No. You should. You should be proud of yourself. Who did you tell? My best friend, Lorena. We cried and she told me everything was gonna be all right. And she's right. Let's dig deeper into you. When we spoke about your birthday, <laughs> you mentioned that you had a lot of sex. How does that make you feel? I feel good. Wait. Dr. Stewart, what do you mean by that? I apologize. How do you feel when you have sex with multiple partners in the same day? Does it give you an adrenaline rush? Are you nonchalant? How do you feel? Um, I definitely get a rush. But it's more of a, of a high. I'm not a drug addict, but... That feeling that they talk about, where they feel real, real good, that's how I feel. And I never want to come down. So what do you do when you do come down? I, I feel boring, unattractive, powerless. Let's talk about your family. Nothing to talk about. My mom died in a mental institution when I was 13, and my dad is a bastard, so. That seems like a lot to talk about to me. <sighs> Do you mind if we dig? Dig away. Your mother. What was her mental illness? She was battling anxiety and depression. And who checked her into the institution? That bastard father of mine. And why do you call him that? Because he... <sighs> because he... Because he took her from me. He took full custody of me when I was seven and said he couldn't take care of her anymore. She needed um, professional help. And him and that lawyer, they got the judge to sign off on it. That was the last time I saw. It was only supposed to be temporary. But they extended her time and um, 
every single time. Every time I wanted to see her. <laughs> he would just say that. That she wasn't well enough. She wasn't ready. I don't need to see her like this. And all these excuses over him. When I was 13, he told me she died and committed suicide. And I never, I never got to see her. All because of him and that damn lawyer. So, do you have good memories of your mother? when she wasn't having an episode? I do, I was, I was about three or four and we went to a fair and we stopped by a booth that made bracelets and uh, she made me this. That's nice. Why the word worthy? When I was young, I had very, very low self-esteem and she would tell me you are chosen you are fought for and loved beautiful we need to stop dr stewart uh, i understand i want you to do something light i want you to go have fun Whew. um i'll try <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> what you know about that song? What I know about mm -hmm. it. What you know about it? A lot. <laughs> More than you think. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so you're trying to keep up with the hip-hop culture. Woman, you wasn't even born when hip-hop came up the scene. <laughs> <laughs> Baby girl. <laughs> Whatever, old man. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hmm. Ivan. Hmm. Mm. What time is it? Mm, it's a little bit after two. I need to get some rest. Gotta be up early. Mm, a few more minutes. Mm, Ivan. Pretty please. Hey, you are such a big kid. Mm, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so I talked to Ethan today. And? And I think you should let him back on the team. Hell no. I mean, he fucked up the deposition. It was a mistake, Ronnie. A mistake. Now you know you wouldn't be this merciful if it was anybody else. But it's because he's your son, right? Yeah, thought so. That day was the anniversary of his mother's death. How oh, long? Um, How long? It's been five years. Whew. Well, um, how are you doing? I'm okay. With each day that passes, it gets better. But my heart still yearns for it. Yeah. But with you being here, I have someone to talk to, cuddle buddy. That's what you young people call it, right? <laughs> <sighs> well, mm. I'm glad I can be that for you, Ivan. Yeah. Mm. I'm surprised you still ain't asked me for sex here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't get myself sometimes. But back to Ethan. Ivan... Look, he really needs this. Uh, you're ruining my mood. And, you know, he's still learning. And to be honest, you're the best person in the firm to teach him. Well, since you boosted my ego, <laughs> I guess he can work late next week and 
clean up this mess he done made. Good. Mm. That's my girl. I'll make sure to tell him. I'll email him. I'll text him. Hell, I even write him a letter. <laughs> you just gotta give me some stamps because nobody mails letters anymore. Mm, people y'all age do. <laughs> what? You trying to call me old? No, no. You did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got jokes, huh? Uh huh. <laughs> So why did you have an affair? Let's be more specific on the word affair. Okay. Emotional affair. Why? Because I couldn't talk to Charlene anymore. Towards the end of our relationship, she became very distant, selfish. She claimed it was because of me, but that wasn't true. So they gave you an excuse to cheat on my sister? I didn't cheat on her, Christina. Oh, okay. Emotionally cheat on her. This is ridiculous. I feel like I'm in an episode of Young and the Restless. No, you're ridiculous. Christina, why haven't you mentioned that she cheated on me? Huh? I know she told you. She told me she told you. So why don't you go ahead and tell everybody about that? And I don't mean emotionally. I loved her. I loved her so much that I asked her to marry me in spite of her infidelity. So yes, I had an emotional affair. I just needed somebody to talk to. Can you blame me? All over social media, I had to keep up this perfect image, this perfect facade. But nobody's seen the real uncut version of us. Not even you two. The fact that you two are sitting here trying to get money out of me over a decision that your daughter made on her own tells me exactly how much you love my money over her. So if money is what you want, I'll wire you the 1.2 million later on today. I'm done. Wait, Harper. Congratulations. Something smells good. Stir fry? Mm. Stir fry. My favorite. Well, I hope you made enough because I've got a big appetite. Oh, baby. I made plenty. Mm. Come here. I missed you. I missed you. You can't make it, Julian. Hello? <laughs> Can you come over tonight? Okay, well, uh, bring that outfit I like, okay? I'll leave the door open for you. All right.
Hey, Ronnie. I know it's late. Is this a bad time? Mm -mm. No, you're you're fine. Is everything okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's okay. Look, I know I left abruptly earlier today, but I just wanted to tell you thank you for everything. You and your team did an amazing job. You're welcome. And thank you for the kind words. I, uh, I hate how it ended, though. Yeah, it wasn't your fault. You know, I was just done with it. Well, that's all that matters, right? Yeah. Well, I won't take much more of your time. And since this will be the last time that we'll be speaking to each other... You know it doesn't have to be. Be what? The last time we speak to or see each other. Unless you want it to be. I don't want it to be if you don't want it to be. What you doing tomorrow? Whatever you doing. Just keep your day open. Okay. Have a good night, Ronnie. Okay. You know, I thought the doctors were supposed to be some of the healthiest people. I mean, you see unhealthy people day in and day out in the ER, right? I'm not an ER doctor, detective. Detective, can you get to the point, please? I've seen him suck down over half a pack of smoke since we started this. You smoke for your anxiety? Hmm. You nervous, Doc? You scared? Guilty? I didn't kill that man. Then who did? Ask Ronnie. Why should I ask her? Because I walked in on her with him. Hey, stop talking. She called me over as if she was in distress. Oh, I said, stop talking. Stop talking. So I did. Ronnie! There she is. Good morning. How'd you sleep? Great. Just a little. Thank you for that stuff, bro. Well, thank you. I know that look. What look? That we're about to have a chat. There you go. Thank you. I really like you. Which I know you already know this, but I don't think you really know. Me. How much I really like you. I'm tired of sneaking around Ronnie and everyone else in the office. I want to be with you. And I know you want that too. Ronnie. Ronnie is a grown ass woman. She will be okay. Believe that. And besides, her best friend, I mean, be with the best looking guy in the fur. I'm just. Why stop? <laughs> I'm just saying. I just need you to give me the chance to show you. I need a shower. What's wrong? Can't handle a little sweat? No, I definitely can. <laughs> I just wasn't expecting to sweat this much. You don't play no games when you work out. No. It's my coping mechanism. My therapy. You know, a way of releasing from all the bullshit that comes with living life. Yeah. Yeah, I thought you could use it to do the same. <laughs> yes, I 
definitely negated it. <laughs> I feel so much better. Mm. I feel like a giant weight has been lifted off of my shoulders. Yeah. And for that, I thank you. Mm. You're welcome. Mm. Mm. Sorry about that. No, you need to get that. No, no. It's cool. I can talk to them later. Um... Harper, I... Ronnie, can I take you out to dinner? I'm oh. oh, sorry, I didn't. I didn't mean to cut you off. <laughs> it's okay. Um, sure. Where are we going? Well, I was thinking maybe you can come over. And we can order takeout. Hmm. I like how simple and chill our day was today. That's all I can. <laughs> I keep the same vibe. That's cool, too. Yeah. We can do that. But I'm choosing to take out. And I want dessert too. Yes, ma'am. Whatever you want. <laughs> um Good night, our friend. Good night, Ronnie. Got a second? Sure. Come in. So, look, running about the other day. No. It's okay. Um, it's in the past now. My father must have spoken to you. <laughs> look, I don't need him cleaning up my mess. He didn't. Um, he just told me why you made the mess. Look, Ethan, um, I too have lost a parent. So I guess we have that in common. Probably the only thing we have in common, but. <laughs> yeah. Who? Um, my mother. Ronnie, I'm sorry. Don't be. I've come to grips with it for the most part. But if you ever need anybody to talk to, <laughs> I can't believe I'm about to say me this. Me either. <laughs> Let me get my voice recorder out. Really? I'm just saying. Look, so we good? Me and you? Yeah. For now. Starry night, oh, I wish that I could own you. Mm. Pull you close, hold you in. Well, that feels amazing. <laughs> mm. You like that, huh? Mm hmm. <laughs> you might have to quit your day job to be my full time masseuse. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't afford me. Girl, did you forget whose back you was rubbing? Oh yeah, Annalise Keaton, your jazz protege. <laughs> 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 mm. Mm. So, why you didn't return my call the other night? <sighs> Babe, I was busy. Doing what? Or wait, should I say doing who? <sighs> don't start. I'm just saying, you know I like to hear your voice before I go to bed. I know. And that's why you over here with me right now, spending the night. Yeah, you're right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How's Harper doing? 
He's good, actually. Doing a lot better than before. I don't know what happened to him this weekend, but he's a lot less somber. Mm. Well, good for him. Yeah, I like him when he's in a good mood. Is he dating anyone? I don't know. I mean, he hasn't mentioned anyone to me. Hmm. Why are you asking if he's dating someone? Just asking. Are you interested in him, Ronnie? No. He's my client, Shannon. He's not your client anymore. Are you trying to fuck him, Ronnie? No. He's my client, remember? Babe, what's the problem? I don't know. You just asked him a lot of questions about him, and I don't like it. Okay, one, I asked two questions. And two, since when can I ask questions about my clients? Former clients. Okay, whatever. But just because I'm asking questions doesn't mean I'm fucking him. Look, just, just relax. Come on. Look at me. No. Relax. I'm not in the mood anymore, right? Uh, girl, bye. Quit playing. Shannon, quit playing with me. I'm not playing, right? Move. Say not in the mood? No, I'm not. You're not in the mood. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> yeah, all right. Why you playing with me? Mm -mm, you know you love me. I can't stand you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Not too much, though. No, I got you. Thank you. Knock, knock. Hey, you. Come on in. <laughs> Hope I'm not interrupting anything. Not at all. Hey. Hey, Ryan. Whoa, what was that? Was that a <laughs> smile? Laughter? A smirk. A small one. Mm. Listen, no matter what it was, keep on doing it. I liked it, all right? Mm -hmm. You need something from me? Go. Yep. Those are all the papers from Harper's case. So I just need a signature and I can get an email over to them. You don't have to worry about emailing it over. Uh, Ethan to take it over. Sir, I'm up to my nose in paperwork for another case. Can't one of our paralegals deliver it? Yeah, they can do that, but I wanted to give it a personal touch. That way you can build a relationship with Harper. Um, I was the head counselor on this case, so I have no problem taking it over. Nah, Ethan's got it. Okay, well, I'll leave you two to it then. All right. All right? Yeah. Ronnie, can you close the door behind you, please? Sure. What's the matter now, Ethan? I am so tired of this. All I'm asking you to do is to deliver this over to Harper, and then on your way back, a get coffee. me a cup of coffee. A co exactly. As if what I'm doing now isn't important. I didn't say that. You didn't have to, Dad. I am busting my ass to prove myself to you. Early mornings, late nights, and for what? What do I get back from you? To be treated like a fucking errand boy. Better watch your goddamn mouth. Do you know who you're talking to? You need to Fuck you, Dad. Fuck you. Consider this my two-week notice. Mr. Manfield. Oh, Mr. Manfield is my father. You can just call me no need for the formality tonight. You are uh, chocolate fanatic? Yeah, it's one of my kryptonites. Okay, okay. <laughs> one of my patients got it for me as a gift, even though there were complications with the natural birth. Oh, what uh, what kind of complications? Uh, the baby was in distress, stuck in the canal. She was adamant about not having a C-section, but you know, I managed to get her out safe and sound. 
Congratulations, Harper. All right. Thanks, man. Thanks. Yes, sir. Well, what's up, man? Oh, by the way, I want to tell you, thank you for everything that you did on that case. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Man, I nearly cost us that case, which I do apologize for. Nah, man, you're good. I threw in the white towel. Yeah, I was just done with it, all right? I'm telling you like I told Ronnie. Just done with the bullshit. Yeah, I feel you on that for sure. Had to come over and uh, drop off a copy of the file for your case. Okay. Thanks, man. Yeah. Could have just emailed him over. You didn't have to waste a trip on me. Uh, you are one of our VIP clients, and we at Manfield and Associates want to make sure that you're well taken care of. Well, thank you. <laughs> you uh, you like a drink? Absolutely. <laughs> I see you didn't hesitate to respond at all. Not at all. <laughs> I got you, man. Token of my appreciation for coming all the way down here on your busy day to hand me that paperwork. Ah, man, look, I, I can't take this. Yes, you can, man. Look, you don't have to be all professional and modest, man. Just take the damn bottle. I'm not your client anymore, all right? All right, all right. Thanks, Harper. <laughs> no problem. You, uh, you think we could rap about something, though? Yeah. What's up? I want to talk to you about someone at your firm. Okay. Are you gonna take it? I see your bottle's still full. Have you been taking your medicine every day? Somewhat. Ronnie, you know you're not supposed to be doing that. I know. Your psychiatrist is gonna be pissed. I know. So why are you not taking them? Look, can we not do this right now? You hear my music. You see that I'm trying to be in the zone. Let me just relax before I go home, okay? All right, Chica. I'm gonna leave you alone for right now. Are you gonna stay here the another night? Ha ha. <laughs> I love you. Good night. Bye bye. Buenos fucking noches. So, why did you become a doctor? In OBGYN specifically? That answer's in my book. Is it? Well, I haven't gotten there yet. You will. Just keep reading. <laughs> but I want the answer now. Damn. You that impatient? Well, I never really have to practice patience because I always get what I want when I want it. 
Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Anything? And everything. <laughs> it's good to know. So give me what I want, Harper. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Well, my mother, she was diagnosed with stage four ovarian cancer when I was a teenager. About a year later, she died. Ever since then, I told myself that I was going to dedicate myself to helping women, especially black women. Okay. Well, that's good. I mean, there's not many black male OBGYN doctors out here, so now that I think about it, it's probably because they don't want to look at vaginas all day, every day. <laughs> <laughs> you get used to it. Um, so what made you ease on down that yellow brick road for lawyers? Can you um, hit me my phone, please? Sure. Where was I? Oh, my mom as well. She um, was screwed over by a lawyer and it cost her her life. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. Care to go into details? Mm, not tonight, but maybe on our next date. <laughs> fair point, fair point. <laughs> Is everything okay? Yep, just fine. So... So who's Starburst and South Beach? <laughs> I just thought those were some interesting names. Plus the way you was rolling your eyes. Let's me know that they were either some people that you used to deal with or you still are dealing with. Yes, I am currently dating a few people. And <laughs> I've named them after candy pieces, which I love so much. Interesting. Since we going out a couple times, what kind of piece of candy am I to you? Actually, you're not a piece of candy to me. No. Mm -mm. You are much, much sweeter. More like chocolate. Chocolate. Mm-hmm. Rich and smooth, like your skin tone. <laughs> okay. I like it. I think I came up with a name for you too. Mm -hmm. Let's hear it. Butterscotch. <laughs> okay. Skin color is brown sugar. Skin smooth like butter. Two main ingredients for butterscotch. I can't be here all night. Can somebody please freeze the time? I'm staring at you from the past and just I need to go. Why'd you call Dr. Reed? Same reason anyone would call somebody when they're in distress. I need help. Yeah, but why Dr. Reed? Why not your trusty attorney Garcia here? Why not your mother? Why not, I don't know, the police? I called him because I could trust him. Trust him? Yes. Mm. That's ironic because <clears throat> after Dr. Reed's very compelling statement, we're not so much interested in him anymore. Now, all eyes are on you, Tupac. I just want answers. And I gave you all the answers that I had. Really, you did? Said, yes. Because mm. if that's true, you would have told me that you called Dr. Reed instead of having to have me finesse it out of him. 
So is there anything else that you need to say? Because if I have to find out on my own, it is not gonna look good for you. No, Detective Decker. No, Detective Decker. Save me some. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Can I have some? Yes, ma'am. Good? Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. That was better. Mm. Who was that? Ivan. Mm. How's that going? Don't know, don't care. I'm leaving Manfield and Associates. And I know what you're gonna say, that he's your father, and you're his legacy, but he doesn't respect me. And he just keep treating me like a child. And, and so, he's getting two more weeks out of baby Ethan, and then baby Ethan's leaving the next. He could pay this fucking legacy to somebody else. Bailey. Mm. Do you wanna come with me to Ronnie's dinner tomorrow? That was random as hell. I know, but you seem pretty convinced about Ivan, and what do you want me to say? You're a good man, and you're gonna be great in whatever firm you go to. See, that is why I love you. <laughs> and I love you too. Now, this dinner. Mm -hmm. I love to go, but but can Ronnie cook though? Yes, she Babe, can cook. I'm serious. I mean, I mean, you know, a brother have a big appetite. We both know that, and I can't have no unseasoned and uncooked food. All right, I'm not doing this for you. Stop coming for my friend. I'm just saying. Remember, you're last gonna lick time your fingers tomorrow. She was boiling fingers water for the coffee and burnt it. Done. How you lick me? No, nah, I don't lick nothing else like I lick you. <laughs> Back to the quote your mother used to say to you. You're worthy of being chosen, fought for, and loved. Do you feel worthy today? I don't know. So much has been going on in the past month with work and my candy pieces and this illness that I haven't had time to process or even begin to think about how I feel. I just... I just want to purge everything. Just press the reset button and stop and focus on me for once. And you can. All that you are wishing for can come true and into fruition. You just need to get out of your own way and do it. Again, this is not going to happen overnight. What you're wishing for is going to take time, patience, and consistency. And we can begin purging right now, if you'd like to. Sure. Good. Now, what is the one part of your life that has you the most distracted? I'll give you two. Sugar, aka sex, and my past. What about your past? My father. Ever since you brought him up in our session, I can't stop thinking about him. Now is the time to face him mm -hmm. and to purge all of those emotional toxins that have been running through your veins since you were a teenager. And as for your candy consumption, now is the time to begin your journey toward your new destination. And what destination is that, Dr. Stuller? Becoming sugar free. Mm. 
You like that? Yeah, I love it. You want me to stop? No. Don't stop. We'll go deeper. Yeah, me too. Hold on. Hey, I gotta go. What? Yeah, I gotta go. Come on, I was about to finish. Look, I need a rain check, but I'll make it up to you, though. Yeah, yeah, okay. Bye. Hey, chocolate. Butterscotch. How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? The same. How was your day? It was okay. Just okay. That's not good. How can I turn that okay into a great? <laughs> Do you really want to know the answer to that question? <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Come to my house tomorrow. I'm having a dinner and Lorena's supposed to be bringing some guy that she's dating, so I think we need a little more testosterone to balance out the evening. Well, I'll be more than happy to come over as your date. Nobody said this was a date. You didn't have to. That was in the details, remember? <laughs> Touche, Dr. Reed. Touche. Well, good night, Harper. Good night, Ryan. Could it be the same? Could we go past time and spend me? Just when I have all the answers. So here it goes, here it goes, here it goes, here it goes. Again. It's open. <laughs> Hello, Chica. Hola. Mmm. <laughs> mm. It smells so good in here. It looks good too. It looks great, actually. Gracias. <laughs> uh, where's this one at? And your mystery man? Girl, we forgot it, so he went to go grab it at my house. Mm hmm. Hmm. And can we talk about who's your plus one? You already know. Him. Um, Miss Ronnie, when it yes. comes to you, there's a lot of hands. So don't do be that. specific. No, you're not. We're not going to do that. We are not. <laughs> we'll see in a minute. <laughs> mm. It's open. It's chicken to no, no. Hey. That's my... <laughs> Harper. Hey, beautiful. Hey. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I gotta take a picture. I gotta take a picture. I ain't never seen you before. Excuse me? You knew. How long you been fucking Ronnie? No, uh, we're not together. We're coworkers. And man feeling associates. Yes, ma'am. What's your name, son? Ethan. Ethan Manfield. You the owner? No, ma'am. Uh, my father, Ivan. Oh, okay. Well, well, I ain't, I ain't gonna keep you any longer. It was nice to meet you. Ethan Manfield. Likewise, Miss. <clears throat> Irene Franklin Brooks. But you can call me Irene. All right, Miss Irene. Uh, nice to meet you too. Have a good night. You too, son. Thanks.
It's open. Yes, yes. Hey. Hey, Ethan. What's going on? Hey, y'all. Okay, so, you got it? Yep. Here it is. Let's see. You want to type it for me? All right. Oh, yeah, Ethan. You want to type it in? No? Yeah. Sure. Okay, but we're waiting on Lorena's new booze in mm. here. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Sure, I'm right. Okay. Here's that wine you left. Thank you, baby. Oh. Wow. Okay. okay. <laughs> when did this happen? <laughs> Uh, before we Talk do our let, can we uh, eat? Yeah, you got that. some explaining to do. Well, let's explain over there. So does she. Six. Yeah, bring the wine. We need, hey, yeah, come on. Let's go. Go to the living room. I need another drink for this one. Here we go. All righty. All done. What about you? Oh, I'm right behind you. I got a few more items. Hmm. But thank you for helping me. You know, Lorena usually does this, but I'm sure her boyfriend wanted her all to himself. <laughs> Man, that's no problem. I'm sure he did. Hmm. I don't know. Ethan and Lorena? Hmm. They seem like a good couple. I think she's in good hands. I guess. But if she's happy, then I'm good. Well, what about you? Are you happy? I'm um, taking it one day at a time. You want to hear something funny? <laughs> what? I asked Lorena not to help because I wanted to get you alone. Oh, well, that's cute. You got me alone. Now what? So why didn't you kiss me the other night? It felt like you wanted to. I did. I still do. I kissed you earlier. You did? Mm hmm. But what stopped you? My mind. I'm unstable right now. Let's focus on the pleasure. It's in our minds for right now. Mm -hmm. You know, when you kiss, three chemicals release to make you feel euphoric and a sense of affection. The same thing happens when you make love. Julian, what the fuck you doing in my house? And give me back my damn key. I've been thinking about us a lot lately. Like... <laughs> you look bad and ugly. A lot of ugly. <gasps> really? That's how you felt about our relationship? All we did was argue. And the lies, the loneliness, a lot of which was your fault. Oh, hold up, run it, nigga. You can't put all that shit on me. You're the one that was having all these extreme emotions confusing the fuck out of me. One minute you depressed, and then the other you happy. Then you angry, then you crying. Every day was like a coin toss with you. How was I supposed to handle that, huh? It was like you were bipolar or some shit. I'm sorry, Ronnie. I didn't come to argue. I just wanted to come over and apologize for all the shit I've done. I really regret it. Julian. Look, I want to be with you, honey. I'm for real. I'm serious. I'm done playing games. Julian, I've been diagnosed with bipolar disorder. I don't know how to tell you. <sighs> I'm sorry. It's okay. I forgive you. 
I mean, I don't know my mood swings would cause you so much stress. On top of that, I'm sorry. But Julian, I need time. I need space to clear my head from all of this. I'll be here whenever you're ready. Everything's gonna be okay, all right? Veronica! It's Ronnie now. Ronnie. Still beautiful regardless. Please come inside. I'm good. This won't take long. I got so much I want to say to you. And now that I'm standing here in front of you, like this bad a bitch. <laughs> you know what? Fuck. Veronica, come inside, please. I can't even get it out. I hate you. Baby girl. I hate you. Baby girl. I can't do that. Get off of me. Remember when we first met? Four months ago in a coffee shop in Little Five Point. Mm -hmm. And we ordered the same coffee. <laughs> and then I fucked you right after that in your truck. And I've loved you ever since, honey. <laughs> What's that on the floor? It's my medication. Shh. No more talking. Maybe why your pills on the floor? Because they fell out. Damn, Shannon, stop talking. Shut the fuck up. Bitch, who the fuck are you talking to? I'm talking to you. You keep ruining my mood with all these fucking questions. Shit, come here. You know what? Fuck you, Ronnie. Fuck you. That's what I'm trying to do. I feel boring, unattractive, powerless. Look you. I just want to purge everything. Just press the reset button. It's always good to have someone to talk to. You don't have to carry that burden all by yourself.
Hello. Hey, Ronnie. Hey. Ronnie. Hey Shannon, it's Ronnie. Look, about last night, um, I'm sorry. Just call me whenever you get this. Have a good day. Nice robe. Thanks for letting me use it. <laughs> it looks good on you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. So, ready to talk about this? Uh, okay. Well, I went to go see my father for the first time in 12 years yesterday. Yeah. And seeing him triggered a lot of emotion. Um, I don't know, usually I have sex, but that didn't work. Uh, so I drowned myself in alcohol and that didn't help either. My thought slid my wrist would, um, would make it all better. But then you called, saved my life. And the pills? They're the them. How long? A month ago, right around the time I met you. What made you get help? Honestly, I don't know, Harper. I mean, I just felt like something was, something was different. I mean, with the sex and the drinking, me working myself to death damn near every single day. Just felt like it was time. Some days, I can't even get out of bed. Depression is so heavy. I can't use the restroom, shower, eat. And then there's other days where I spend like thousands of dollars shopping. And I don't even remember until I check my bank account. <sighs> I don't know, it's, it's just a lot. Do you think I'm crazy? Not at all. You're human. All right, well tell me about your client, Dr. Reed. Has we been prescribing some dick pills yet? <laughs> Damn, Lorena said so you're just gonna go straight for it, huh? What you mean, Chica? That's how you are. <laughs> no. Uh, he hasn't prescribed any dick pills yet. And why is that? Hmm. I don't know, we, we just took a shower. Oh. You didn't fuck him? <laughs> um, hello? <sighs> Where is my slutty best friend, Ronnie? Girl, I don't know. But when you find her, can you please tell her not to catch feelings so she doesn't fall in love? You're falling for Harper. Uh, no, I didn't say that. 
catching feelings. Same thing, capiche, oh, no. capache, oh, girl. Oh, oh, oh. You like him. <sighs> but that's not a good thing right now. And why the fuck not? Because I gotta deal with this bipolar shit. <sighs> Friend, it's a bipolar disorder. It doesn't define the rest of your life. You have a great, beautiful, loving life. I try to kill myself. What? I want to go. I want to go see Dad and um, this happened. That's why I can't be with her, bro. Look, I got a lot going on, and he doesn't need that. He's already dealing with so much from his ex committing suicide, and I just. <sighs> Ronnie, does he know? Yeah. And surprisingly, he still wants me. Hello? <sighs> Friend, your bipolar disorder does not define you. It explains you. That's it. Okay? Every day might not be great, and we get that. But you can still have a great life. I've been online reading about it and researching on people that have this disorder. And they live a happy, great life children and everything. You could have this life too. You just have to give yourself a chance. And, girl, take your fucking pills every day. I love you. Oh, I Say love you too. Thank you, Lorraine. I love you so much, girl. Mm -hmm. Okay? I'm trying to get like you. I need love too. You're gonna have it. You have it already. We're living it here. Hello? Do you not feel this love and shine and Holy Spirit? <laughs> Framework which called for the representation in a national legislature based on the population of each state. The Jersey plan. No. The, the Great Compromise. Nope. The Virginia plan. Uh, Boy, you need to study some more. I know it's one of them. I ain't trying to study this shit right now anyway. I want to study something else. Mm-mm. Harper, move. Not right now. Move. Oh, who the fuck is Harper? Nobody. Yo, Ronnie, stop playing with me, man. Who the fuck it's is Harper? It's nobody. Damn. Go sit down or something. Go sit down? You gonna sit here and call me another motherfucking name? You gonna tell me to go sit down? You gotta be kidding me right now. Trent, go on somewhere. Shit. Look, Ronnie, I'm falling for you, right? Do you not hear me? Do you not hear what I just told you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I hear you. Okay, so you gonna say something? What do you want me to say? That I'm falling for you too? Yeah, that would be nice. Look, I'm 30, you're 20, I'm well off in my career, and you just now getting started. So please, just let me be. Let you be? Oh. Come on, man. I've changed everything for you. I stopped focusing on ball. I started taking law classes, all for you, so I could be a better person for you. Since when? Since a couple of months ago. Hmm. Because you inspired me. <laughs> Boy, I only inspire you when you're in between my legs. So go play pro ball, do what you do best. Just get out of my face. Get out of your face, but you don't even want to be with an athlete. Correct. Right, so how are we going to be together? We're not. So you got an attitude now? I got an attitude now? I got an attitude now? Is that what you're going to tell me? I got an attitude now? Man, fuck you. Don't call me another nigga name. I got an attitude now. I don't want you. Make sure you lock the door on your way out. Come on, get yourself. Fuck out of here. Hmm. 
Check. You ain't that slick, Mr. Manfield. Nah, I'm slippery. Check, mate. Damn. Super slippery. Good game. Good game indeed. You kept me on my toes. As always. Mm -hmm. Chess. Just like life. Strategize. Always make your next move your best move. And is that how you got to where you are? Hell yeah. I had a plan. Hmm. From being a pawn at FAMU Law School, being a bishop, slaving for the man at his firm for 10 long years, to now being a king, owning my own law firm, and taking some of the biggest cases any black man has ever dreamt of. You ain't get OJ. <laughs> had to let my man Johnny have that one. <laughs> but the moral of the story is this. Don't be afraid to make big moves and always move in silence until you're ready to say, checkmate, motherfucker. <laughs> mm, there's some truth in that. But the worst thing that can happen is underestimating your opponent. You see, you holding that king like it's the most important piece, which it is. But the queen, the queen is the most powerful. She can make the most moves of them all. Mm. That's true. Mm -hmm. She is the most powerful. Yep. But in the end, she always uses that power to help her king. Protect and serve. Protect and serve. Hmm. Is that what you and Robert Brooks did back in 1998? Protect and serve? I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. You represented him in a legal custody battle with the little girl and her mom who was suffering from a mental illness. He took full custody of me when I was seven and said he couldn't take care of her anymore. They got the judge to sign off on it. You ruined that little girl, Ivan. But she was resilient. She grew up, went to law school, became a lawyer, and walked right into your office about 18 months ago. And now, you're her sugar daddy. And she likes to call you Spree. Who the fuck are you? I'm Veronica Ivan. I'm that little girl. Checkmate, motherfucker. Well played, Miss Veronica Brooks. Don't you ever call me Veronica again. So what the fuck do you want out of this, Veronica? <laughs> Excuse me, Ronnie. I mean, you come in here with this big reveal, and for what, money? I've already been giving nah, you that. I want it all, and I'm gonna get it too. Started with Manfield and Associates. Your son managed to give me access to all your business records. No wonder why you're writing checks for 30K. Because your ass ain't paid the IRS a dime. Okay, so, you got it? Yep, there it is. See? <laughs> but I can send you a copy to give to your lawyer because you're gonna need it. Damn, it feels good being sugar free. You don't know what the fuck you're getting yourself into, Ronnie. motherfucking hands off of me. Fuck around with you. I'ma pretend like I didn't hear none of that shit that came out your mouth. And if you ever come near me and mine, your ass is gonna be dead. Fuck out of my face. Mr. Manfield. You need to stay the fuck away from me, bitch. Open this door. Open this motherfucking door, Ronnie. Open the damn door, Ronnie. You better let me in this door, Ronnie. You ain't kinda hard there, huh, sugar daddy? Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, I was looking for Ronnie. That's obvious. Well, she invited me over, but uh, she, she probably forgot. What? I see you. 
Do I know you? I don't know. Do you? Well, uh, it was nice meeting you, okay? She just said that her and Harper are staying inside. Oh. I really wanted to go out. Mm. It's okay, bud. It just means that we get to have the whole night to ourselves. And my guy Harper had a good idea about staying inside. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Like what? I got something we could do. <laughs> I'm putting my makeup away. <laughs> You ain't gonna need no makeup for that. <laughs> well, you might be right because clearly they can't. Fuck are you? I'm a friend of Ronnie's. And who the hell are you? Friend of Ronnie. <laughs> I'm Ronnie Man, nigga. You need to calm me your ass down now. Or what? Huh? Fuck you gonna do. <clears throat> Told your ass. Get your ass up. <sighs> Close the last. Julian. Who the fuck is that guy at your house? What? I came over to talk to you and there was this old ass nigga looking through your shit. Shit. Who the fuck is he, Ronnie? Are you fucking him? Look, Julian, just just calm down and leave him there, okay? It look, it's fine. It's fine. Fuck! Hello? Hello? What was that about? Some bullshit. I'll be back, okay?
Hell, Julian. <laughs> Looks like your TikTok doc is free to go. About fucking time. Big Dick Justice. In case you need to know. Damn. Wishful thinking I can get some clothes after a murder. Oh, I got some clothes you can wear. That at my place. And you're more than welcome to stay with me until they finish cleaning your house. I put you through a lot. Probably more than Charlene has. And I apologize for that. You know, maybe you need a more simple woman with a lot less baggage. Yeah, you do have a lot of baggage, <laughs> but who doesn't? And when you find a simple relationship, let me know, because those don't exist. At least not in my world, they don't. Mm -hmm. You still think I'm not crazy? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm the one that's crazy. You? Crazy? Nah, I can't see it. That's one less person. Mm. Oh God, let me go handle this. You know this is a crime scene, right? I can see that. Actually, I saw the entire thing. The police put out quite a show. Yeah. And I know this is going to be hard for you, but you need to stay away until they clear the scene. Actually, it won't be that hard. I've seen all I need to see. Good night, Miss Irene. Hey, um, the, the guy I've been seeing you with? Mm-hmm. It seems nice. Good night, Miss Irene. Ronnie. What? What do you want? You deserve to be chosen. You deserve to be fought for. And you deserve to be loved. What you just say? Do you have good memories of your mother? I was about three or four. And we went to a fair. And we stopped by a booth that made bracelets. And uh, she made me this. And she would tell me, you are chosen. You are fought for. And loved.